back to the channel, everybody. Today, Jillian and I are on Lake George, and uh, we're gonna be cruising down some creeks. We're gonna check out Juniper Run first. Um, it's more for airboats and kayakers. I'm not sure how far we're gonna get up with this tiller, but we're gonna see how far we can go. I'm hoping maybe one or two miles up the creek where it's really clear and find a nice little sandbar. We can sit down in the water, chill, and just relax and uh, avoid, hopefully, all these rainstorms that are going around us. So we're leaving Lake George and now we've hit Juniper Creek. If we were to take this all the way to the beginning, it would be uh, Juniper Springs. Is it an alligator or a manatee something up there? So we're doing pretty good. Haven't seen any manatee yet. We saw one alligator, a few little turtles. The water quality is super clear right here. Um, too much reflection right now, but we can actually see the bottom. It's probably, I'll say maybe four and a half, five feet deep. And we're just gonna keep going, see how far we can go up the creek. so calm and peaceful out here today and I think at the boat ramp I only saw one airboat trailer so we might actually have the whole uh, lower end of the river to ourselves. It wouldn't be a summer afternoon without a little bit of rain so the rain is coming on its way so we're probably gonna put the awning up the top is now up and we've made it to the first little shallow spot sandbar it's about i don't know maybe two and a half feet deep right there but uh the wind kind of just pushed us around but we're gonna make our way up and see how far we can go we seem to have hit a shallow spot but i know there's like a party spot up here it's really sandy and there shouldn't be any alligators near it so how far we can go. New plan of attack. I think it's deeper on the outside over there, so we're gonna go back to square one.
we made it a lot further than I thought we would. We've actually made it to a little sandbar right here, surrounded by water. It's kind of cool. So we're going to stop right now, eat some lunch, and we're going to see if we can go any further than this. When you come to like tiny little creeks like this, there's always one side that's a little deeper than the other. It's whatever side, you know, the water kind of just washes away. So we've kind of just been skipping across the bottom and uh, making headway. I think I've actually only had to get out and push it twice. But yep, that's upstream. And now it's time to sit, enjoy some sandwiches, something to drink, and uh, this liquid sunshine. So this little island in the middle we thought was just a sandbar, but as we've been walking around, we noticed the water's 10, maybe 15 degrees cooler over here. So it's actually a spring bubbling up and um, you can actually see like the little sand boils. So that's what's bringing all the sand up to the surface. So we've got our own little spring island right here in the middle of the creek. The water feels so refreshing and there's absolutely nobody out here. This is a very fun creek to just explore and walk around. Uh, most of it is less than knee deep. So it's kind of fun to just cool off. You can lay down in the water, bring a camp chair, just sit in the water. But uh, it's all nature out here. All the noises, all the crickets, alligators, turtles, stuff just rustling off in the, off in the shoreline there in the trees. Um, there is a kayak run way up there. If you go all the way to the head spring, uh, Juniper Spring, uh, you come to Nin Highway 19 Bridge and that's where all the kayakers get out. We're just south of that. So we started in Lake George and we can literally go all the way up. Um, obviously if you had an airboat you could go all the way up but I don't know how much further we'd be able to go. I think this is where we're going to stop for today. If we come back here again uh, we're going to bring some camp chairs and stuff like that to hang out for the rest of the day and we're going to go a little bit further. So we're going to hang out here for a few more minutes and we're going to head back out to Lake George and across the lake to the boat ramp. Although this boat is a lot heavier than my little white boat that I used to have, it still drafts pretty dang shallow to, enough shallow enough to get all the way up here you're not going to get a bay boat or anything up here this is airboat and mud boat territory i mean that's a little over my ankles This is a really nice sandbar right here to anchor up to.
So this is the last sandbar before we get to the deeper part of the creek where um, it's just not really sandy at all. But this is so skinny. I'm going to say it's probably about four and a half, five inches. I had to tilt the motor all the way up and we're just floating right across. It's pretty cool. Nice and quiet. There's schools of fish just going up and down all past us. We're literally like 12 feet to the end of this little sandy patch and we finally hit bottom. This is probably the shallowest creek I've taken the boat on so far. I'm really surprised we haven't seen any manatees. I figured we'd at least see one. Can't really tell that blob right there, but we saw a manatee on the way out. Right after I said, I can't believe we haven't seen one yet. So Juniper Creek is right behind us and we just came to Lake George and the whole thing is like glass on this end. There's absolutely no wind. It is beautiful out here. It's almost like a paint. Oh, there's a huge fish right there. Look like some kind of gar. But there's actually a really big sandbar right out here um, at the mouth of the river or creek. And uh, it's really popular for like boats to uh, tie up on on weekends and stuff like that. But as you can see, there's a little like a log with a turtle on it right there. But it's really shallow. But it's so peaceful. It's really weird being out here with no no wind. It's not too many days you get um, boat days with absolutely zero wind. One thing I have to pay attention to, and we're close to the boat ramp now, so it's probably not that big of a deal. But um, the boat is not peeing out the water. So some mud, sand, or whatever got in there and clogged it up. I cleaned the grate and I checked the little pee hole right there. They're both clear. So I don't know what the deal is. Water pump's turning because if I turn, if I unplug this right here, um, it pumps the water out of this hose, so something up there is blocked. It could still be the little pee hole or something blocking it so the water's not coming out, but um, the motor's not running hot. I've stopped it a couple times, but we only have like a mile to the boat ramp, so we should be pretty good. So we made it back to the boat ramp without the engine overheating or anything. It's probably just something really simple, just a little clog in the line. But this boat ramp, do not recommend it unless you have like an airboat. If you want to use the dirt ramp right here, you got to back way down in there because it's pretty shallow and the concrete one's pretty sketchy. I don't know where the end of it is and you definitely don't want your trailer falling off the end of the concrete slab. So this boat ramp kind of sucks. Not only is it kind of steep, but it's kind of tilted on the side. So can't really get the boat uh, on top of the little roller right there.
The creek water felt amazing today, but the sun is freaking brutal. So this one on the left is from the boat. There's no water in there. This right here is from this rear pod. And I'm pretty sure there's a cracked weld or something letting all this water come in. So just this pod on the back of here is filling up the water. Well, that's a wrap for this trip. It was raining on our way here. If you notice, the boat was really muddy in this video. Um, it's like three miles of uh, clay roads to get here. So it was just mud and stuff caking up on the side of the boat. But um, it turned out to be a very beautiful day. So that's why you can never um, trust the weathermen or anything like that in Central Florida. It's supposed to rain probably 80% chance today. And look at this. It rained for a little bit on the way here and it's been absolutely beautiful. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. This was Juniper Creek Run. It's mainly for uh, kayaks and stuff like that. It's very shallow. So if you plan on coming out here, you gotta get something a lot more shallow than this. If you have a GNU, that'd probably be perfect. GNU or the Riverhawk, like the boat I used to have. Or if you got a really shallow mud boat from, with a mud motor, that'd probably be ideal. But um, other than that, like I said, beautiful day, a lot of nature out there. There were people fishing in that creek um, on our way out. But um, had a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.